Hello, uh, my name is Richard Wright and welcome to a video on surviving or thriving. It's an important video and I'm in an important place called the, the Cradle of Humankind. It's a place I absolutely love cycling. It's a, an incredibly gorgeous day, spring day in um, no, very near to Johannesburg in South Africa. And I love cycling here for a number of reasons. And uh, there are three things in particular I'd like to just chat about briefly uh, in this short video. I'm not sure if you're aware, but um, as part of the human race, you are one of arguably seven homo species. Um, in other words, there were six other homo species, um, others we might not have found yet, um, that didn't survive. In fact, not far from here are the last remains of Homo naledi, um, now extinct. And as Darwin so eloquently put it, um, it is the species that are the most adaptable to change uh, that are the ones that survive and ultimately thrive. In other words, you are only here and you are sitting there watching this video because you are part of a species that is adaptable to change. So that leads me to the first point and that is change. Every single one of us desires change. Um, it is part of the human condition that we're always wanting to better ourselves. Every single one of us wants to be in a different place in this day next year. We want to achieve things. Uh, something must change and our happiness is, is often um, centre, centered around that thing. So whether you want to finish school, whether you want to finish your studies, get a degree, uh, find that wife or husband, uh, the house you want, the job you want, the business you want, you want to sell something, whatever it is, you want self improvement you want to evolve as a human being you just want to become a better human being we desire change um, but yet it's change that's incredibly difficult and we have survived as a species because we're adaptable to change and our first response to change is often a negative one um, it's kind of wtf who hit me on my comfort zone um, you know as much as nobody ever told us that life was going to be easy somehow we expect it to be easy and when life happens our first response is what um, but yet that's why we're still here because we have this defensive approach to change to anything that affects us It's like hold on two seconds something happened. I need to defend myself in this and that's probably why we are here right now so Change is inevitable, but, but what is your reaction towards change and that brings me to point number two and that is very often when we're hit with change I have brain cancer and um, Part of brain cancer part of the change that hit me in my life was being a victim to brain cancer and that is what happens we become victims to this change whatever this thing is the thing that has changed in our lives suddenly we are a victim of that thing um, and one of my favorite quotes is from Naomi Judd and she says that uh, you're only ever a victim once thereafter you are a volunteer in other words the first time I was diagnosed with cancer when the doctor said to me hey you have got brain cancer at that particular time I was a victim of brain cancer you might have been through a divorce you might have lost somebody in your life you might have been retrenched you might have um, been you might be in debt, you might have a disease, whatever's happened, there's some very tough stuff that happens to us in life. Um, you're a legitimate victim of that thing only once, and that is when it happens. And thereafter, you have a choice. The very next day, um, what is my choice? It doesn't mean that I don't have cancer, I'm just not a victim of it. So I am Richard who has brain cancer, I'm not Richard a victim of brain cancer. And that's a very, very, very big difference. So you choose to be a victim or not, and that's going to determine where you are on this day next year, whether you live a victim mentality or whether you uh, choose to be a survivor. And then on that point, being a survivor. So we have this idea of, you know, being a survivor is an amazing thing and I want to be a survivor of brain cancer and, and, and only once I get a degree am I this thing, or once I get to that point am I this, and I can only celebrate these things in my life once I've got to this place. And I don't have to be in remission to be a survivor of cancer. I'll tell you right now, uh, the reason for that is because yeah, you're watching me. I'm living, breathing, and uh, I might have it, but I, I'm surviving. On the day that cancer kills me, I'm no longer a survivor of cancer, but then I'm also dead and it doesn't really matter anymore, does it? But right now, you are a survivor of absolutely everything that's ever happened to you in your life. Been through a divorce, you're a survivor of the divorce. Why would you want to be a victim of this thing that you survived? Um, if you're in debt right now, if your house is mortgaged, if your car is financed, you're a survivor of debt. You're a survivor of every heartbreak you've ever been through, every illness you've ever had, every flu you've ever had, every paper cut you've ever suffered, every, every single thing that's ever happened to you in your life, you are currently a survivor of. You're watching this video, you're alive, you are breathing, yes? You're a survivor. It's it's something to celebrate, but it's something to acknowledge and respect and, and recognize. And that's why I love being in this place. We're survivors. But being a survivor doesn't necessarily mean that you are thriving. So having a survivor mentality is magnificent and it's fabulous, but that's not having a mentality of thriving. Um, so I might have brain cancer and I'm a survivor of cancer, but if I'm going to live my life, I've seen other people that are surviving cancer by sitting on a couch in pajamas and waiting to die. Um, 
you've you know those people who you almost avoid because whenever you speak to them all you hear is this idea of victimhood they're victims of whatever's happened in their life whether it's divorce whether it's loss whether it's uh, they just love that wear their badge of of being a victim and they normally survive themselves with other people they feel sorry for them um because they're victims and normally those people are victims themselves and it becomes a bit of a victim club um that's not thriving so this is a message from me to you saying right now you're a survivor of everything that's ever happened to you in your life does your life reflect that you don't have to get somewhere you don't have to be somewhere for you to be happy and happiness is thriving isn't it your happiness is not dependent on anything but your mindset so uh, i really wish you the world of happiness uh, there's no point in surviving if you're not thriving um, have a good one if you like the video please hit like please share it um, and follow me for more next time we're talking about how complaining messes with your own brain and your mind cheers for now